Raw Perfect Edition team here in the next installment on the gear series of all the gear that I carry overlanding in my Jeep with me. Uh, before we get started, I want to make sure you guys all hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification so you get the you're the first ones to know when a new uh, new one of these videos drops. And then in the future, we got a bunch of uh, in the shop with D's coming. We have some more in the gear series, and we have uh, some trip videos coming up. Uh, this year we have about uh, about two trips so far planned for January and February of this year. So make sure to uh, hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification so you're the first ones to know when these drop. So uh, in this series, it is all my kitchen kitchen and cooking uh, gear that I have. So uh, I've spent the last two years or so tweaking and fine-tuning and finding what works and what doesn't work. And uh, so we'll start off here with what I've had the longest time. I've had this for almost uh, almost three years now. It's my ARB 50 quart fridge. This works great. It's a fantastic thing to have uh, in the Jeep. I use it on all my Jeep trips, even if it's not overlanding and camping. If I'm just going to be hitting trails in Moab at Easter Jeep Safari, I'm able to keep lunch meat uh, and sodas and water and all that nice and cold. Uh, don't have to worry about a... Uh, freezer packs or ice and then your all your stuff is soggy and wet this keeps everything nice and solid and cold um, it comes with uh, three ways of powering it so first you can use a cigarette a traditional cigarette lighter we went on a road trip uh, this summer we rented a uh, rented a car put this in there it worked great we we're able to uh, keep uh, all of our food for the for that uh, for the two-day trip out there worked really well so that works that's for you anyway, you can use it in any cigarette lighter then it has a proprietary ARB plug uh, that I have in the back of the Jeep that goes straight to the battery. So that gets a nice, uh, it's not, it's fused and whatnot. Last is it comes with a traditional outlet for your house. So we have used this for parties in the garage, in the backyard, and then if the, um, uh, for whatever other reasons you can use any house, we, or we uh, ran out of some fridge space for a couple days. So just we did big shopping orders, so we powered this up and it worked out really well. Uh, I always carry my cords with me, uh, just in the event uh, something happens with the ARB plug, I can run it to the uh, cigarette lighter, or if we end up in a house or a hotel room, I can take it out and uh, run the power that way. So I always, I always keep the cords in a nice little bag. Um, next is here, this is my non-perishables. Uh, container so for a weekend trip with two people I can pretty much fit all the non-perishables I need in this container for longer trips or trips with more people I have a big uh, tote that goes in the back seat that works uh, very well as well so this uh, this is nice it's the front front runner wolf pack with the the high lid uh, it stacks really well with all of my tools uh, so when I'm in the back of the Jeep, I, I can put this back there, put my tools on top, it's nice hard so it's not going to collapse. And then when I'm cooking, I just open it up and I can use the entire, you know, I have the fridge, my food, my table, my table on my tailgate. And then, uh, this is the, the big one. This is what I've been using uh, for uh, just a couple months. I've used it, uh, actually on the first trip was uh, just this past weekend. Uh, this is what I've been able to condense down into from uh, three containers into one. So what this is, this is the Camp Chef, Camp Chef Sherpa. Uh, it works as a table. So one thing I had with my Camp Chef Mountain Series stove was uh, the first table I had was too small. The, the stove wouldn't fit on there when you have the regulator and the propane tank. So uh, on the back here, <laughs> is a little container uh, where I can get the uh, top of the table out. A um, couple little quirks I have with this, like this, if they would have made this pocket a quarter inch bigger, would have been great. And also putting, to this, to, putting this together was not very easy. All these legs are different sizes and they're not the, they're not labeled and the directions don't tell you which one to use so it took a little bit of finesse to put it together um, so uh, that pops out right there it's a nice storage I have a nice big surface here 
uh, to cook off. So what I'll do is I put my stove right on top of here and everything's inside. So we'll flip open the front part. So, uh, so I already got rid of one bag, which was the table. Next is, uh, now this comes uh, in four, four, it comes with four dividers. I've gotten rid of the bottom divider, so this is where I put my stove. It comes with four uh, little uh, fabric totes that you can store stuff in. I decided not to use the totes as I was able to fit more stuff in here without the totes. And I'd just be taking, opening the tote, opening it up and taking stuff out. So I have everything nice here in Oregon. So this is everything I need to cook. So here on the bottom in my Blue Ridge Overland gear uh, bag is my Camp Chef Mountain Series uh, stove. It has, uh, the reason why I, I could just put this straight in here, but the bag does dampen uh, the vibration and the sound for when I'm on, when I'm on the trail. So, uh, it comes with, I have, it comes with very different, certs. they have, Camp Chef has a huge lineup. So I went with the one that has a griddle and a one burner stove. Went with the griddle because I could use this for eggs or pizzas. Um, and then I have a cast iron skillet. I put the cast iron skillet right on here. Uh, just a little bit more evenly flows, has a long burner that goes down the center. So um, this has been a great stove, used it uh, many times now. Um, a little bit not the easiest thing to clean but it works really well so and then um, so that's on the bottom just because it's the heaviest and then and this side is all my cleaning stuff so I have some paper towels paper plates um, I have a set you'll see I have a set of um, plastic plates paper is easier to store them in the fire and you're good to go um, little tip I always save my uh, grocery bags, a small little plastic grocery bag. These work great for just throwing the trash from making dinner. On, the, on my spare tire, I have the Blue Ridge Overland Gear uh, trash receptacle, um, which I put a uh, big black trash bag inside that as a liner. Um, but instead of constantly going to the back, I just hang this off of the tailgate, throw all my stuff in here, and then, then put it in, the, in that big receptacle. A uh, bunch of different sponges. Uh, depending on the surfaces I'm cleaning, uh, I need to restock these. Uh, tin foil, tin foil works really well because it uh, hold, maintains the heat. If you want to tent something, put it in there, but then you can touch it, you don't need a hand mitt. The regulator for my stove, and then I just have a really, really cheap uh, oven mitt. Uh, that was one thing I forgot on one of my first trips, and it's nice, uh, you know, nice to be able to grab. Grab the hot stuff on the on the stove. Uh, this and it just poke, packs down really well. Um, so that's all here. Now here's all my uh, cooking stuff. Now I went with GSI Outdoors. Uh, they uh, I just started buying their gear and they come in some really nice padded uh, containers. Uh, so everything's nice and organized. So to start out, this is a um, has a bunch of knives and a um, large folding cutting board. So when I'm cutting onions and peppers, um, this works really, really well. I have a cutting board on my tailgate, but if someone, if, if we have some other people who are helping, the, uh, they can take it over to a table, take it over to their table, and you know we can spread out a little bit. Gives us a little bit more versatility. Uh, this is just a general uh, cook kit. Comes with forks and knives, uh, some just some containers, some more knives, uh, like a, a, a sharp knife, and then a, a ladle, a spatula, a cheese grater, uh, just just random kitchen stuff. I mean, there's times when you know, depending on how you cook and what you're cooking, um, a collapsible strainer. So if I want to make uh, spaghetti or pasta, um, having stuff that collapses and and uh, makes takes up a lot less space, so that works out really well. A uh, glass, a plastic, plastic measuring cup. Uh, didn't really think I needed that at one point, and then when we went to go make tacos, we eyeballed how much water we need to add. We ended up having too much. Um, in here, now this is uh, also GSI. Um, I believe this is more. I'm not sure what the name of this is, but I think it's this is more designed for like a backpacker. Uh, so you can't really, you know, it comes with a 
decent sized pot. You know, you put a couple couple cups of water in there, uh, a kettle, and then a, like a frying pan. Uh, we use this to put on to, on the to put our pizzas underneath just to maintain the heat on the, to let the cheese melt a little well. So that works uh, really well. And the last thing is a set of silverware, uh, dishware. Um, a cup, bowl, and a, uh, and a plate. Um, I do I usually try to use the uh, paper plates as much as I can. Uh, there's no cleanup. You just throw it in the, in the, in the campfire and it'll burn away. Um, but if you, for whatever reason, uh, if you didn't have a campfire because of fire burn restrictions and whatnot in the, in the state or the park you're in for forest fires, uh, this works out really well. You can also use the paper plates for uh, just throw them in the trash. Um, but one thing you have to be careful with meat is um, bears. So if you're in bear country, uh, you might want to make sure you wash everything out. You don't want to put, you know, uh, meat in your trash bag, or else a bear will dig it out. So, so this this Sherpa has been a huge success, I think. Like I said, um, before this, I had, you know, three containers that I had to load. One was the stove, a table. And then I had another front runner uh, wolf pack with all the stuff on top all crammed in there. So when I when I got to camp, I had to pull all this stuff out and open it up. So now when I get to camp, um, I just have to pull this um, and the and the non-perishable foods out. Um, this thing is not very tall, so if you're using your traditional camp chair, it's about that height. So if you're sitting, but when you're standing, you it, it's very very low. Uh, so might have to try to modify this a little bit so I can get it a little bit higher. Maybe use PVC piping or something. Haven't really gone down, uh, started thinking about that stuff yet. But um, I've been really happy with this. I think the fabric is well made. It's a real heavy duty zipper. Um, nice big handles on the side to carry it. One person can carry this one, it's fully loaded. Um, so overall, I think this has been a really great setup. Um, I'm going to constantly tweak this as stuff comes and goes. But uh, this is my kitchen setup, and I'm uh, so far I'm pretty happy with it. Used it on uh, two trips so far. Um, so we got more in the series to come. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe and the bell notification, and share this with your friends. So uh, till then, have a great one.